Hello, this is Wampire uh, here to talk about something that Captain Fairbairn said, and he said, play with your knife. Okay, so he said, go ahead and play with your knife as much as you can. Now that makes sense because I'm pretty sure what he meant was you want to get familiar with your knife as much as possible. So I'm going to add to that, okay, because play with your knife can mean anything. So I want to get more specific to actually give you some tips that can help. So number one is use a trainer, okay, don't, don't use the actual knife. Use a trainer and then from there we're going to go ahead and shadow box. So you're going to be shadow boxing, boom, 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 boom. So you're shadow boxing with your knife and then go ahead and pass it. Just drop it and catch it with the other hand. And then now same thing with this one, boom, 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 boom. And then from here you're going to do the same thing and pass it to the other hand. Why? Why is this important? To me, this is important because if I'm attacking somebody, right, in a self-defense situation, so I'm protecting myself, and they grab a hold of this hand or whatever, and when I pass it to the other hand, now they have control of this hand, and now I just pass the knife to this hand. This is the hand now that they got to worry about, so they got to immediately switch controls they're already a step behind, okay? So passing the knife in a knife combat situation is critical. It's a very, very good technique. So I highly recommend uh, that you put that into your shadow boxing, okay? So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.